gate ball. If we go through the next gate in order for our respective ball, and we touch another ball which we haven't touched this turn, this is called a pass touch. It's called a pass touch because we pass through a gate and we touch another ball. This is one of the rare situations in which we gain two continuous strokes after the successful touch and spark. I'll describe it here. I will attempt to pass through gate three with ball eight and touch ball five. I've been successful in doing both of those things. After I successfully spark ball five in any direction or in any way, including making ball five an out ball, I have the right to two continuous strokes. This can be an incredibly powerful strategy within the game and is often used by many, many good tacticians. It is important to note, as mentioned in a previous video, if you go through gate one and touch another ball in the same stroke, that does not constitute a pass touch. You must attempt to touch the ball again, but after completing a successful spark in that situation, you will only gain one continuous stroke. There is another situation in which you can gain two continuous strokes, and that is called a touch pass. It's essentially the reverse of a pass touch. It's where we strike another ball and create a successful touch first, and then pass through the next gate in order for our ball. I'll attempt to do it here with the five ball in gate three. I've made a successful touch with ball five, and also gone through gate three. After the successful spark, which I will conduct with ball five, with using ball eight as my own ball, I will be entitled to two continuous strokes. It's an important note to take that pass touches and touch passes do not compound. You cannot gain three continuous strokes from this, as the continuous strokes are capped by the rules at two. So, should you pass through your next gate in order and make contact with two balls, after successfully sparking both of those balls, you only gain two continuous strokes, not three. After, after successfully touching both of those two balls, the 10 ball and the five ball, and then successfully sparking with both of them, I will only gain two consecutive strokes or continuous strokes after that.